Hey folks, I uh, hope you're having a great day today. Um, so today we're going to do a hip workout um, and we're going to do the Tabata style. So it's going to be five exercises that we'll do for each of the exercises. Uh, we'll do our eight rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. When we're done our eight rounds, we'll get a little breather. I'll introduce the next exercise uh, and then we'll work. So we'll get our heart rates going, get the muscles working. As always, as we're going through the workouts, uh, make sure you go at your own pace. So you need to speed up, you need to slow down, you do what's right for you. Okay, the best for you need. Uh, and we want to make sure that as we're going through these workouts, the technique, we're really focused on our technique. So we're getting the most out of the exercise uh, while we're going through it. And then the last thing as always, just want to make sure that we have fun while we're going through the workout. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get into it. We're going to start with our warm up. We'll get down on the ground. So we have this triangle with my left leg, uh, right leg's pulled in behind, hands on either side of that left knee, nice and tall, and then hinge forward. Uh, I can play with the angle, and I'm just making sure I get that good stretch through my left glute here as I draw the neck into that. Good, from there we're going to pop up, and we're going to lock the hands away from the so I look over my left shoulder, I get a nice big stretch through the front of my right hip, make my core, make my quad there. Just looking over that left shoulder, getting that stretch. And that's great. So we're going to switch, we're going to hit the other side. Um, we're going to get that other glute. Again, I'm really important that we're mobilizing those hips, right? Hips are really mobile joint. Uh, sometimes we can sit a lot, we don't move it through the full range of the motion, it loses that mobility, and then we compensate by moving that other joint. So we really want to make sure we're mobilizing the hips. Good, and then we're going to pop up again, we're going to walk the hands away from the feet, looking over the right shoulder now. Nice big, big stretch to the front of that left hip. And that's great. So from there, we're going to pop up. Um, we're going to be reaching back, so we reach it back with that right hand, and then bringing that right elbow to the left knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. And one more. Reach, elbow to knee. Good, so now we're going to the other side. So we're reaching back with the left hand, elbow to knee. Reach. And that's great. So now we're going to tie in the uh, lower body. So we're going to do a lunge forward and we're going to rotate um, towards that side of the lunge on too. So I lunge onto my left leg, I'm going to rotate to my left, drive back up. So I'm starting to load the legs. So rotate, drive back up. Rotate. And one more. Load that leg, turn, drive out the bottom. Rotate, go lunging, rotate, rotate. One more, okay? So step forward, load that front leg, rotate, drive it up. All right, so we're warmed up, uh, ready to go. So our first exercise is going to be a squat jump. So with this a nice squat stance, we're going to dip, we're going to jump up off the ground, land, absorb that force, um, and then get ready to go again. If the jumps uh, too much impact on the knees, no problem, we can just do a squat. Okay, so just do a squat, and then So that's the way we can kind of modify that exercise. So uh, get yourself ready, get that squat stance, I'm just gonna start our timer, um, and then we'll get started. So three seconds, pace yourself. You go at your own pace. Remember, it's eight rounds of this. We're going to try to bring that power to the legs, but we always want things in control. Nice landing, absorb that force, and then get ready for the next one. Okay, we're resting. So that 10 second rest, let us catch our breath, let the muscle recover a little, and then we're going to let go again. Power, we're driving ourselves up. If you want it, you can focus on more 
like little jumps and trying to get some in there. Okay. Whatever it breaks for you. Okay, we're resting. Really focus on your breathing and that recovery. Here we go. When you're jumping, make sure the foot's nice and flat as you explode up. I like to use the arms, throw them forward when you're extending up into that jump. Okay, here we go, here we go. Rest in. 
upper body work in, we're going to lower body work in, and we're definitely going to get that core. And time, rest and rest. Good, great, good, great, get set here. And here we go. Good work, everyone. Good work. Okay, so that's uh, second exercise done. Grab a drink, grab a breather as you need. Oh, the next one's going to be Bulgarian split squat. So if you have a little step, a little riser, something you can elevate your back foot on, um, that's what we'll do. So we'll just pop that up and then we can do our split squat with that little elevated back foot, okay? Um, if you do have a step or a riser in me, uh, that's great because we will use it for our last exercise as well. So just take a few deep breaths, get another drink if you need, and then we'll get ourselves set for that Bulgarian split squat. So again, if you don't have a step in a hump riser or that's a bit too challenging, you can just do it without the elevation, right? And we can just do a regular split squat, okay? So with this, we'll do all one side. We won't switch halfway. One round, we'll do all one side. The next round, we'll do all the other side, okay? All right. So get in position, and we're going to get started. So the back foot goes up, front foot's nice and flat, knee goes into that front foot, we're controlling down on the front foot, and then pushing the front foot into the ground and drive it, okay? So it's like 80, 90% of your weight's on that front foot. It's doing the work that front leg. Back leg's just a little bit of balance uh, back there behind. So we're resting. So I do my left leg there, and next one I'm going to do my right. Okay? There we go. So I'm pushing through that right foot. I'm going to weight me down on it. I'm driving up through it. You can maybe feel a little stretch. If you have it elevated, you can feel a little stretch uh, through that hip. Um, on that back leg. It shouldn't be a stretch. You shouldn't feel like the muscle working. You shouldn't feel like you're rolling it, okay? Okay, here we go. Back on the left. Uh, you're doing the same leg as me. Good. 
good at that front foot stay nice and flat, put the weight on it, drive up through it. Okay, if you need a little rest at the top, no problem. Just make sure the form stays down in. And as you're going down, okay, we're resting. You want to make sure that knee tracks nice and aligned. You don't want it falling in. It should track nicely. Okay, we're on the next one on the right side.
that time. So we're resting, catching our breath, getting ready for our prone T again. Okay, back in the prone T. Get rid of the step and do it right off the ground. Uh, you can do that as well. 
That looks like two years. And time. Oh, great. Thank you for learning. Okay, next step. And here we go. Push the foot to the ground. See, I'm going to rest a little bit. If any of you are afraid for you, my hands are on fire, folks. One left. One round left. We got this. Thank you.